Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to handle imbalanced classes. So when we are dealing with a data set with uh, biased classes, like one class have so many number of uh, samples for training and other class like less samples means it will be imbalanced class. First, let's see an uh, example with a data set. So for this, I'm going to use uh, uh, credit card of fraud detection because that's like a classic example for this uh, problem. So this is the data set. So this is a bigger data set. It, it's around like uh, 147 MB. So that's a bigger one. And these are the attributes it has. And these are the uh, classes. So after this, uh, we will just split the input and output for better processing. So this will be like a original uh, sample X. So df dot drop columns equals class axis one and uh, target will be df of class. Okay. Now let's visualize the data uh, for the output class. How much it is uh, biased to the one class. Let's plot y. Okay, sorry, this is not this plot. It should be count plot. Okay, this is the classes. As you can see, uh, for class zero, it's uh, having around more than uh, uh, 300,000, I guess. And for class one, it's so less. We can also use uh, another uh, function. So I'll just uh, import one function called uh, collections from collections import counter. Maybe I'll just import it at the top here. Okay. Here I will say counter of Y. You can see 280,000 and uh, class one has like 492 samples only. So this is very unbalanced. We have to uh, have a uniform distribution for a better performance of the model. So to do that, we will uh, use uh, two different techniques. One is uh, over sampling and uh, another one is under sampling. First, we will check out uh, how, what is oversampling. So this will be oversampling techniques. Oversampling techniques. So here I'm going to use uh, first, I'm going to use random and uh, oversampler. Random oversampler. So for this, I'm going to import the module. So for this, you can use imb learn. So if you didn't install the module means you can install using uh, this command pip install mb learn. So this will in install the module. So from imb learn dot oversampling import random oversampler. So this is one method. What I'm going to do is uh, I will define the method like oversampler equals random oversampler of sampling strategy. So this is uh, very important uh, when you are uh, dealing with this. So you can uh, sample based on the minority classes. So you, it will just uh, uh, create some duplicates equal to the majority. We will see that now how to use that. So I will say minority and uh, we will apply the function here. So x comma x underscore over comma y underscore over equals over sampler dot fit resample x comma y x comma y is the original data finally i will also display the counter y of over okay let's run this now you can see it oversampled uh, all the data in class one 
what it does it it will just uh, replicate the samples what is available so it will just randomly replicate this uh, 492 samples into like 284000 but uh, this will definitely overfit the data uh, because of duplication so this is not like a best approach and uh, if you don't want to uh, go for like 280000 you just want like a few number of samples extra means you can also do like this so instead of minority you will just uh, set 0 0.5 so this will just um, create the number of samples like 50 percent of the majority samples i'll just set 0 0.3 that will be enough run this now you can see we just got like 85,000 uh, uh, samples so this is uh, better compared to like uh, 280,000 uh, duplicates so you can pass the parameters like this but as I said, this is not a best approach because it will just uh, uh, repeat the same samples in the data set. So I'll also come on this. Repeats the same samples in the data set in random manner. Random manner. So to overcome this, uh, there is another uh, module called uh, SMOT. So this is a popular module that is uh, being used for uh, handling uh, uh, unbalanced data. So the full form of uh, SMOT is uh, synthetic minority, synthetic minority oversampling, oversampling technique. Okay, this is the full form. So this is somewhat a best module because it will create new samples based on nearest neighbors. So it's not like a exact duplicate. It will just uh, create some new samples uh, based on the nearest uh, neighbors. So it will try to uh, create a new sample uh, by considering the data points in the original data. So this is somewhat uh, better uh, than this uh, random oversampler. Let's see how to implement this. We will just uh, repeat the same thing here. Instead of random oversampler, we will uh, implement smooth. And uh, let's run this. So this will also do the same thing, but uh, the data points will be much better uh, than this random oversampler. Here I'll just uh, pass like 0 0.4. Okay, this is the number of samples we are getting, but this is comparatively better. Now let's plot this in order to visualize. That will be much more better. See, uh, before that we have around like teeny tiny bits of uh, data, but now we have around like 100,000 of uh, data. That is much uh, better uh, compared to the original data we have. So this is how you can oversample the minority data. Now let's go for the other technique, undersampling techniques. So under sampling technique. So for undersampling, I think uh, we will just randomly undersample because uh, we, we just have to remove the uh, some of the existing data we can just randomly uh, remove it it's uh, not like we have to use some specific uh, algorithm for this because we have a lot of uh, samples of uh, this one class so random under sampler okay so again i am gonna use the same thing Okay, sorry, I didn't use the smote here. Okay. Yeah, now it's good. Here, I will just copy the same thing. Okay, here instead of oversampling, I'm gonna go for undersampling. And uh, here, you can check out some of the modules here. 
so here you can see random uh, under sampler i'm gonna use that copy this and here i will say under sampler under sampler here the sampling strategy first i will just go for the majority so it will just uh, randomly remove the samples from the majority of the classes so x under y under and this is also y under let's run this now you can see uh, from 280000 uh, samples it just reduced to 492 samples so this is how random under sampler works and in the same way you can also use a different uh, parameter so in this uh, other technique uh, if you specify some parameter like from the minority class it will just uh, multiply that number of uh, samples let's say if you want to increase the samples like by half means you can just say 0.5 run this now you can see it just uh, double the data let's say 0 0.7 it just uh, reduced it if you say 0 0.2 so by varying this uh, parameter you can have different number of uh, samples you have to like uh, calculate and uh, use it accordingly so this is another way you can uh, use uh, uh, under sampling method you can also display it to see how it looks like so sns dot count plot y under run this now you can see the total data is around like 2400 and uh, original data of class 1 is around 492 so somewhat we have like a reasonable number of data here so you can uh, pass this uh, into a machine learning model and uh, check how it works so so far we have seen like uh, different techniques like uh, uh, over sampling and under sampling but what happens if you want to combine uh, uh, both of these things so for this uh, you can uh, use a pipeline Combine over sampling, over sampling and under sampling. Okay, for this uh, we are going to create a pipeline from imb learn, imb learn dot pipeline import pipeline. So here in the pipeline we are going to specify a few strategy. So first I am going to use over sampler over equals random over sampler of sampling strategy 0 0.1 I will just over sample like a little and after that I will go for under sampler equals random under sampler sampling strategy equals 0 0.5 I am going to combine both of these things in a pipeline so i'll just say it as like pipeline pipeline equals pipeline of a list in the list we will uh, cover all these things first i will specify some character and pass the function over and after over sampling i'm gonna use under sampler so i will say it as u under and after that if you want to um, subject it to like a model means you can uh, specify a model here like m and uh, the model name so for this i'm just gonna leave it with the pipeline and we will create the new data so x underscore resample y underscore resample equals pipeline dot fit resample with resample of okay it just uh, created another and x comma y okay let's uh, run this okay we will compare the original and the new data so this is the original data we will uh, compare it with the new data that is y resample y resample run this now you can clearly uh, see the difference so from 280,000 
it reduced the samples around like 60,000 and uh, even for uh, class 1 it increased the number of classes around like 28,000. So this is somewhat like a balanced data you can also uh, increase it to like 60,000 but it's not necessary because uh, you can see how many samples we have in the original data. So this is too less. Uh, if you do over sampling means the result won't be accurate but this kind of uh, combination of randomly uh, under sampling and over sampling will be much more better. So here instead of this over sampler you can also use uh, smoot if you want. So I'll just use smoot. So this will uh, give you uh, somewhat better results compared to the random over sampler. So I think that's it guys. This is how you can uh, balance the uh, data from uh, imbalance to somewhat uh, uniform distribution. So this will be very helpful if your data is uh, biased like this. And uh, it will definitely improve your model performance in real time. If you have any queries regarding this, please leave a comment below. I will definitely answer those questions. And apart from that, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Stay tuned for the next video.